Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to be looking at a two solution case of a side side angle oblique triangle. And we're going to be using the law of sides to help us out there. So here we see that we find two triangles, that it wants us to find two triangles for which A equals 12 meters, B equals 31 meters, and A equals 20.5 degrees. So Recall that one of the ways that we can find our height is by taking B times the sine of A. Which means that we would have 31 times the sine of 20.5. If we plug that in, we're going to find that our height is going to be roughly 10.86 meters right? And so here we see that our h happens to be less than our a value, which is also less than our b value. And so we can conclude that there are two possible triangles here, okay? So that's kind of a big deal. Right? This, this right here tells us that we have two possible triangles. Okay. And so now we're going to use the law of sines. Now remember, when we use the law of sines, we want to choose the form where the unknown variable is going to be in the numerator. So we're probably going to use the reciprocal form here. So let's remember and recall what that is. Okay, and so here we see the law of sines in reciprocal form, right? And we know that we've been given our a value, and we've also been given our sine of a, and we've been given our b value. So right now, we're kind of looking for this sine of b. So let's go ahead and let's set that up. All right, so we have the sine of 20.5 over 12 equals the sine of b over 31. And we want to get that sine of b by itself. So we're going to multiply both sides by 31, which allows us to cancel out our 31's. Alright, so now we see that we have 31 times the sine of 20.5 all divided by 12 and that gives us our sine of B. So we need to separate our sine from our B, so we're going to take the inverse of sine of both sides to isolate the measure of B. Alright, so doing that allows us to isolate the measure of angle B, so the measure of angle B is going to equal so we see that the measure of angle B is going to be the inverse of sine of 31 times the sine of 20.5, all divided by 12, which is going to come out to approximately 64.8 degrees. But you guys, we need to remember that we have two possible triangles. So really, we have two possible angle Bs as well. So if our triangle is acute, we'd use the 64.8. But if that angle B is obtuse, we're going to have to know what that angle would be. So to find that, what we're going to do is we're going to take 180, and then we're going to subtract our 64.8. And that's going to tell us that other angle could be 115.2 degrees. So to keep these straight, let's call our 64.8 B1 and we'll call our 115.2 B2. That way we don't get them confused. And this might be a little bit easier to understand with the picture. So here we've got a picture and we see our B1 with 64.8 and we also see our B2 of 115.2. Both of them still having that relationship with the 20.5 degrees. Now this is where we're going to be splitting some things up. So we're going to do some of our work for B1, okay? And then we're going to end up doing stuff again for B2. So here, if we have angle A and angle B1, we can find our angle C by the triangle sum formula. So we can go ahead and plug that in and get our answer. And so we can take the 180 degrees 
subtract our 20.5 and our 64.8, and we're going to see that angle C is 94.7 degrees. And then if we use our law of sines to find that, and since we're going to be looking for C, we want to use our original law of sines set up. So let's go ahead and let's set that up using our A and our C. So we have 12 over the sine of 20.5 equals C over the sine of 94.7. And so we're going to multiply both sides by the sine of 94.7 to get our C by itself. And so C is going to equal the sine of 94.7 times 12 over the sine of 20.5, which is going to come out to being approximately 34.15 meters. And so that's for B1. But what about for B2? So we're going to go ahead and find the measure of angle C, which is going to be 180 minus 20.5 minus 115.2. And so we see that the measurement for angle C is going to end up being 44.3 degrees. Now to find our side length, we're still going to use the law of sines. In fact, it's going to be set up pretty similar to how we set up for B1. The only difference is that instead of putting the 94.7 right here, we're going to put 44.3. So we're going to go ahead and just skip down to that last step and write that C is going to equal, and we're just going to replace all of our 94.7s with 44.3. So we have the sine of 44.3 times 12 divided by the sine of 20.5, which is going to give us about 23.93 meters. And so we're done. We have found two triangles, and they're right here, our B1 and our B2. We have two triangles for which A is 12 meters, B is 31 meters, and A is 20.5 degrees.